No, Bill, I don't want you to come here. Bill, I said no. And trust me, the way I look, you, you don't want to see me anyway. I know. I know you're my brother. I, I just... I don't want you to take this personally. I really don't want to see anyone. Okay, bye. Wow, look who's up and about. This is a good morning. That depends on your perspective. You shouldn't waste those on me. You know, only pretty girls deserve flowers, don't you think? How did you sleep? Yeah, you know, all I can really do is sleep, so I guess I slept well. <laughs> in that first moment when I wake up, I feel okay, but then the reality sets in. The reality of this. I feel like myself for that first moment, but I remember what I look like now. How do you feel? You're giving me some pills for the pain. You know, they have a pill for everything except how to get me back to where I was before. Well, I got some good news for you. Really? What's that? I am taking you home. Home? Yes. Rick said you were okay. You can continue your treatment as an outpatient. And I know you're going to miss this place a lot, but I'll do my best to make you comfortable. No, Hart. Um, I'm not going to go home with you. Now, I know your daughter. She'll be back here in no time. Nothing keeps Dinah down. I hope you're right. Oh, Vanessa, you're here. Uh, hi, Holly. Hi, you're standing in for, for Dinah. How is she? Uh, she's bearing up. Oh, good. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's all right. What can I do for you? Actually, I, I wanted to talk to you alone. Oh, sure, sure. Well, I do need to fax these contracts. So yeah, I'll we'll uh, take that. Take that. Which Great. You? Thank I'm you. Ready. So, what is it? What's up? Uh, I just found out this morning that uh, Stringer from WSPR got hold of a story that could be very embarrassing for a lot of people you know. Oh, well, oh what is it? What's, what's the story? Uh, you've heard about the nursery rhyme stalker? Yeah. Uh, well, I... Um, I did something very foolish last night at my house. I, uh, I staged a stalker incident. You what? I, uh, I was trying to get the suspicion off my brother. You know, they've been holding him for weeks, and he doesn't belong in a jail. He's innocent. I was trying to prove it, but uh, Frank Cooper saw through me, so... Uh... Oh, Holly. Uh... Oh, gosh, look, I know you've had a, a terrible year, and, you know, I... I... Uh, you want to talk sometime, or, uh, you know, I'd do anything to help you, really. Uh, yes. Well, there is something. You see, if word of this gets out, it will cause Blake a lot of trouble in her custody case. You see, the, the police have agreed to drop it. No problem, so I was hoping WSPR could do the same. And I understand. We're eloping. But it's a secret, so don't, you know... Oh! Oh, gosh, I'm so happy for you. That That's just so wonderful. I'm really happy for you. <laughs> Cassie. Is this about Hart? No. I am really, really worried about Josh and Reba. So you're really worried about her? Yeah, yeah. Cassie's just not been acting like herself lately. I went into her room last night to talk to her, to help her out a little bit, and... I don't know, she, uh... She was so jumpy. She acted like I was a complete stranger, like, um... Like what? Like I wasn't sincere, or something. She couldn't wait to get rid of me. Well, I know how hard this split up with Hart has been for her, especially with his baby on the Yeah, way. but that's exactly why I wanted to talk to her, to let her know that I'd be there for her, and you would be, everybody would be, you know? This is this is a time for her when she should be around her family, not not, not, not trying to keep herself away from people. I know, and as much as we want to help her through this, she's got to do her grieving on her own. Well, that's true. I guess I can understand that, too, because when I thought that I had lost you, I wanted to run away from life. I didn't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> I love you. Damn it! If Josh should listen to my suggestion about Cassie, then why is he playing kissy face with Reva? Or are they still joined at the hip? Maybe the drug isn't working this time. Take care of that.
Hey, guys. Hi there. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I have been okay. really worried about Cassie. You have? Why? Oh, well, the last time I showed up at the house, she was really upset. Is she feeling any better? Well, she's going through breakup hell. We've all been there before. That's for sure. Yeah, we've gone through, through some tough times ourselves, so uh, we have sympathy for her. Thank God those days are long gone. Mm. And Cassie's with us, right where she belongs. Because as long as we're all together, we can help each other. One big happy family. <laughs> Feels good to say that after such a long yeah. time. Then. Danny finally gone. Nothing can ever change that. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, I... <sighs> I'm so sorry. I am such a klutz. I don't even know how that happened. I... Oh, please, Russ. We both love Kevin and Jason. It doesn't matter how angry we are at each other. We have to do this for them. You know, you're just shameless. Invoking our sons to try to get me to roll over. That is not what I'm doing. I told you, I don't want a man like Ben Warren to be a part of those boys' lives. He is not going to be a part of their lives. Oh, he's not? Ben and I are finished. Really? You couldn't stay away from Ben when we were together in our happy little home. Do you expect me to believe that you're going to stay with him now that you're alone? After everything you've done to me, you must think I am an absolute and total fool. No, I don't. I don't think that at all. No more. I'm not going to act that way anymore. Please, Ross. No, just forget it. We'll settle it in court, all right? Ross. Ross. All our years together as husband and wife, all the love that we shared and, and the family togetherness, oh, it can't end like this, Ross. It can't. Please don't make this any uglier than it already is. Please, Ross. Do the right thing. The right thing. Thing. Not for me, for the boys, for their sake, Ross, for the only family that you care about. Look, I'm sorry. It's just not as simple as Matt seems to feel that it is. I mean, and I don't want to make a promise if I can't deliver on it. Well, sure you can. You're running the show. I'm not running the show. That's the whole point. I I'm just filling in for Dinah while she's sick. I mean, I can't uh, make decisions for the editor-in-chief of the news. I can't do that. No, couldn't you just get the copy of the story and lose it? Holly, please. I made a mistake. It was a stupid mistake. So I am really asking you to give me a break here, Vanessa. Well, I would love to help you. Of course I would. I, I can't live with the fact that I might cause another woman to lose her children, not my daughter, not Blake. Vanessa, this can't be something you can do, right? Matt. Vanessa, uh, we, look, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, Holly is a great friend. Uh, she was there when we needed her. She was there with a kidney for our daughter. At a... When Fletcher asked her to think about it. I, I understand that, but I mean, are you telling me that it's my fault that their marriage fell apart? I mean, I'm saying we owe her. I know. I I do owe you, and I, I do anything I can to help. I can help. You will? Yes, absolutely. I'll talk to uh, the news people, and, and if the story comes out, we'll contain it. No, no, no. No, no, no we'll that's put not any good spin enough. you want on it, Holly. Absolutely. That's not good enough. You've got to shut down the story. But I can't do that. I mean, you know as a journalist that if we shut it down here, it's just going to pop up someplace else. Vanessa. And the real thing is, it's not my prerogative. I cannot tell the news department what to do. I, I'm sorry. My hands are tied. Uh, look, uh, Holly, my advice is to deal with this here and now and, uh, you know, just face it and, and we'll get WSPR to help you. Will uh, WSPR can put out your side of the story. <laughs> you don't understand. There is no my side. I screwed up again and my family's going to pay for it. See? Well, I'll talk to the news editor, and I'll make sure that uh, it does not appear as a lead-in for the local news. Forget it, Vanessa. Forget it. I'm sorry I troubled you with my problems. Holly? Holly. Holly. 